Japan versus BB Sindhu India. Well, the PA just announcing on to courts. Uh, PV Sindhu, to give her her full name, Prasala Venkata Sindhu. There she is, tall, elegant player. Up against Yui Hashimoto of Japan. Now, of course, the home fans here in India expected an Indian quarter finalist in the women's singles. In fact, the seeding suggests that Sindhu should be in the quarter finals anyway. But the huge surprise of yesterday's competition was, of course, that the number one seed in the women's singles, and that, of course, was Sina Nawal, beaten in yesterday's second round encounter by Yui Hashimoto. You can see that Alexion Intonon is already through to the semi final. Three games she needed to progress through to the semi final stage. So, this is the second meeting between these two players, the only previous encounter was in the second round of the Swiss Grand Prix Gold Tournament last month. Now, the significance of that obviously won't be lost on the home fans, but also when you consider that Yui Hashimoto actually had to battle through the qualifying of the Swiss Grand Prix. Well, let's look first of all at P.V. Sindhu. Well, once again, um, we've got the age just a year out. She's only 17. Won't turn 18 until the 5th of July. Number eight seed, 15 in the world ranking. Gone up one place to an all-time high on the world ranking of 15. Quarter finalist last week at the Asian Championships in Taipei. Well, she had a sensational victory in the second round over the former world number one, Wang Shexian of China. So we know that PB Sindhu is in good form. Yui Hashimoto, 22 years of age. And world ranking gone down two places to 46. But she's only got eight tournaments towards that world ranking. So, of course, with the optimum number of tournaments to get a realistic ranking at 10, that's perhaps why that is a little misleading. But, of course, for the Japanese player, well, what a tournament she's had first round. Her first round opponent, Sing Ai Ying, who's a very good player indeed from Singapore. She disposed of in two straight games, 21-17, 21-12, as we look at our match officials for this women's singles quarterfinal and of course that match yesterday against a number one seed sign and Awal and I'm talking about Hashimoto at the moment so there was a glimpse of her opponent Sindhu her victory over sign and Awal 13-21 she dropped the opening game then came back 21-12 22-20 in the deciding game, an hour and two minutes. She was 17-20 down in the third game, saved three match points and closed out the game. There she is, that's the lady I'm talking about. Closed out the game on a run of five straight points, saving those three match points in the process. So from Tohoku region, Hashimoto, north of the main island of Honshu. This is her first ever Super Series quarter final appearance. In fact, only her third ever Super Series tournament. Previous two, both on home soil and Japan Open. And I 
I said the crowd would probably be pretty lively for this encounter. Oh, many people were hoping and expecting an all-Indian order final between the number one seed, the first ever meeting between Sina Nawal and PB Sunu. But that's not to be. Not one of the players, there she is, Sindhu, has battled through against two Chinese players. That in itself, beating two Chinese players back to back, is pretty special. First round victory over Xue you know, in three games. And of course, Yao yeah, Xue was runner up at the Malaysian Super Series event in January earlier this year. Second round, she beat Yu Sun again in three games. So we know that Sindhu is in great form. She's got off to the ideal start. Oh, what the home fans really need is the ideal finish. Oh, that's a delightful shot from Hashimoto. Decision on the little block to the net. Uh, the key here, look, she's addressing the shuttle, coming over the shuttle, and then she's got the options, she's got the opportunity to try and play the kill. Or play the net shot, as indeed she chose to do. from the tall Kusala Venkata Sindhu. One meter eighty, she really is tall. And uses her reach so well coming forward, those long arms outstretched. Using the racket, taking the shuttle early. Of course, there's a very good reason why she's so tall. Both her parents were international volleyball players. Her father, Ramana, was in fact captain of the Indian volleyball team. Sandy's sister, incidentally, is a very good netball player. of talented young players coming up. And two on display. Two of the leading lights. Oh, it's a super angle. Yeah, using her height once again to create the angle. Bring it down so steeply. She's been moved to 
forehand net gets back so well around the head as we call it you're playing from your backhand corner but you still hit the shot with a normal overhead action but short yeah got what it deserved Shot would have been at Hashimoto had to move the full diagonal of the court. That's the longest distance to run. Yes, coach Shoji Sato. Played in the 2012 Olympics in men's doubles. of her height and that I think is going to be such a threat in world terms. said that Sindhu was playing well on the back of that victory last week in the second round against the former world number one. Actually lost in the quarter-final stage the next round last week in Taipei to Enrico Hirose, another Japanese player. So playing on home soil always makes a, a big difference to an athlete. Now you can see the Indian coach, Bulela Gopichand, Kopichan looked quite as animated as he did in that little time out there. Obviously very excited about the way that Sindhu is playing at the moment. Yeah, rightly so, he should be very proud of her. He should be very proud of all his team. I've been talking to colleagues in the media and journalists and talking about how we've noticed so many emerging young Indian players this week. Wide. Well, 
dropped the opening game yesterday, of course, remember, against number one seed, Sina Nawal. So Hashimoto, we know, has the capabilities of fighting back after a disappointing start, which is not even in this at the moment. Yeah, and a little shake of the head and whole body language at the moment to me is negative. What a contrast to PV Sindhu. Japanese squad are sitting just beside me, just to my right. So, they're certainly down here in force, here to support and encourage. Hitting <laughs> winners at will at the moment. just doesn't know what to do. She's trying high clears. Sindhu has got the deception and disguise with her overheads that she's able to hit winners. You can't hit flat because Sindhu just intercepts it then. And at the moment, Hashimoto looks at a, a loss as to know what she should be trying to do. Oh, there's one. She's hit flatter to the back of the court and a wonderful example of how Sindhu just intercepts without having to move right to the back of the court. Ten point advantage. Yeah, it's good racket head control too. suspects the opening game is beyond her, Hashimoto, but really needs to be playing herself into a bit of form before the start of the second. <laughs> well, she's just not been allowed to play her own game at the moment, and that's all credit to Sindhu. Doing exactly what she wants to do. Wide, and looking straight down that line. Good call by the line judge. last year and earlier this year on the Austrian International. That's why her world ranking of 40 
six is not realistic. physically work harder and harder because if Sindhu loses a fraction of pace and stops taking the shuttle as early as she has been taking it so far in this match that will have a big impact on her ability to hit winners Example, isn't it? Just that fraction, fraction slower. Going forward to the nets. We've been on court for 16 minutes already. And some fairly intensive badminton. And that fraction of a pace slower means that she can't make the kill. certainly done that and all of a sudden Sindhu is going to have question marks in her own mind play from Yui Hashimoto. Ah, perhaps I spoke too soon. I said I thought this opening game was probably beyond her. But she needed to play herself into form. Seven straight points. From 7 19. Sudden, only five points in it. And Sindhu, and you can sense with the crowd, are beginning to get a little bit nervous. This is a big point. Oh, luck of the net cord. Top of the tape, went over, and despite the dive, well, she lay on that shuffle. I'm quite oh, she's handing it back. I would have said that shuffle I probably had it, but lies on top of the shuttle. Two coaches, can you? Oh, very distracting. A symbol. A lot of movements in the line line at the back of the court with the dignitaries all taking their lead.
1619. has come to an end and in bringing it to an end Sindhu of India has earned herself four game point opportunities Japan. Much to the delight of the fans here at Siri Forts Stadium in Delhi. 21 16 in 21 pulsating minutes of Aventon. My goodness me, she looked to be cruising at one stage, did Sindhu. 19 7 up. Closed it out. Twenty one sixteen. Lalo Gopichand is actually saying something about that forehand defence. enjoying their time here. Yeah, the thunder sticks there being used for other reasons other than the normal clapping sound.
first real level net exchange we've had. in the early stages of the open game. This is the one, yeah, you can see the deflection. A little difficult for Hashimoto to control and then the net short reply. Very loose, got what it deserved. And so animated. Usually you can't tell what he's thinking or whether his player's winning or losing. Mm, I have to say the entire Indian squad really showing huge potential. There's so much publicity surrounding the achievements of Simon Ewell in the Olympic bronze medal last year in London. There's a whole host of players that could achieve similar status. Difficult 
difficult to believe when you watch the fighting spirit and the court awareness, the level of skill from Sindhu to believe that she's only 17. Also remarkable when you think that at the age of 40, she reached her first international tournament final, the Royal International Challenge, and her first international title. Deeves International Challenge with only 15. So she's already gained a lot of international exposure. And all that experience is paying dividends right now. play from Sindhu that rally was patient she bided her time waited for the right opportunity and then slotted it straight down the line at the union judge.
advantage and I think they make their main point. And I know it's only one point, but it does have a big psychological impact. Sindhu. Come on, she says. Yeah, put herself in position. Could have played it if she'd changed her mind, but her initial belief that it was going long was well founded because it was well long on the back line. Lady. It's obviously worked because all three points since the mid-game interval have gone Sindhu's way. shot there from Yui Hashimoto.
just wide. Yeah. Hashimoto looking a little bit surprised by the call. Yeah, a little shake of the head there. I think I have sympathies with her. No question it was okay as far as Lentz was concerned. It was whether it was wide of the singles court. Sindhu was really threatening the net. In other words, forcing her opponent to lift. Oh, seeing the final smash, which was excellent. And the lift from Hashimoto had only been to the half court area. Hashimoto off balance. backhand side that Sindhu should try crossing the shuttle either across block or across lift oh, no, that's a change of tactics
ruled out. I'm looking straight down that line and I have my doubts. Oh, this all one. Poor, poor, wearing on today. That was on the front service line. Oh, can't see it on the replay there. Well, technology is about to come into Bavington. We won't have that. <laughs> the 17 year old Sindhu five match point opportunities now Masters, but here on home soil, my goodness, she's caused a sensation. Their complete symmetry in the scoreline 21 16, 21 16. Well, the Indian fans expected a winning singles semi finalist, they weren't expecting it to be Sindhu. But all credit to the youngster from Hyderabad uh, because she has defeated the player that defeated her teammate and number one seed Sina Nawal yesterday in the second round and today in the quarter final Sindhu has come good and she is through the same final tomorrow and she will play Rachanok Intanon in Thailand. This is how it all ended. Yep, she watched it closely. She knew it was going wide. And the ecstasy and the realization that she would be contesting the semi final tomorrow. Oh, goodness me, after all that excitement, the crowd will need a, a bit of a breather, and so will we. Home fans delighted. Home fans, of course, could be doubly delighted because next up is the qualifier up against the world number one Lee Chong Wei. Of course, it is Hasina Sunil Tranoi of India against Lee Chong Wei of Malaysia. Number one, 
Lee Chong Wei of Malaysia.